Well, I was just going to say, you know, just because they're Keystone cops doesn't mean they don't have the the power of the law on their side. I mean, sure, it was a, maybe it was a it was a bad frame and they didn't do the best job of it, but it still took five, six years of your life away, seven years of your life away, a pain a that you're dollars. still dealing with. And yeah, exactly. yeah, you said half a million dollars. And like, it ain't over. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I mean, so just because they didn't know what the Sixth Amendment was, they knew how to at least, you know, really hurt you for a number of years of your life. Most definitely. I mean, this is something that, like I stated in the documentary, you know, for 20 years I've spent building my entire legacy up until that point, and within... 20 minutes they have destroyed to a point where in which now I'm trying to clear the rubble in the process of hoping to rebuild. And what you don't know if you haven't seen the documentary yet is that you know Nick was an all-American soccer champion was a graduate from St. Lawrence University and became a coach at Clarkson coaching you know a, 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 I know nothing about soccer so, but like a great soccer team and you <laughs> he know, was had, good at soccer faculty, people good at soccer yes. and, and a military children, veteran and a military vet and you know so all of this you know Nick Nick doesn't have any of that right now he his career is been, gone. Uh, is gone um, his family has suffered extreme trauma. Um, Nick's financial situation is not what it was before. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, not, it's not a happy ending. It's important to note, I think, the cops may have been somewhat intellectually challenged, but the district attorney who prosecuted this case has been a district attorney for three decades. That's 30 years in New York. So we had intelligent people. That's why it took us a half million dollars and almost mm -hmm. sent him to jail. Because we had intelligent people, people with a lot of power, working to deny him of his freedom, knowing he's innocent. So the DA we're speaking about, the Onondaga County DA, uh, William Fitzpatrick, that's featured, he knew there was no evidence. And he said, quote, after Nick was acquitted, quote, I've locked people up with much less evidence than this. And, and I'm thinking to myself, how many innocent men and women are currently sitting in jail or have died in jail like Hector Rivas, uh, who DA Fitzpatrick convicted 25 years ago. His uh, conviction got overturned, but yet he died in jail two years ago because he couldn't afford bail before his retrial. Now, that's a person with family, Hector Rivas. Uh, he's a gentleman who died from Syracuse, and nobody remembers him because in 1991, 92, when Fitzpatrick convicted him, there was no internet. Uh, he didn't have someone like Sarah Johnson. He didn't have a brilliant lawyer like Norman Siegel and Earl Ward uh, and my wife, Lisa, representing him. So this guy died, and he didn't even make you know, front page news or back page news because of people like this who for 30 years have been convicting people, as he said, with less evidence than he had against Nick Hillary.